You're very welcome back to the final part of the show and it's time to take a snoop around our Carconian cooks gaff as Clean O'Connor cooks up a storm in the kitchen. How are you doing? All the seas for you there, Clean O'Connor. Hi. Oh, thank you. How are you? We're all good. What are you making for us tonight? I am making a frittata, perfect for a picnic. I kind of like to cook to kind of reflect my lifestyle. And we spent so long locked away that now we need to be outdoors, having picnics, having fun. Yes. So I said I'd, I'd um, take a break from the ham sandwich. Okay, <laughs> all right. Okay, well, Anything frittata else? instead of a hang sandwich. Go on. Right, this is easy. Everything I cook is easy. This is even easier. We have some baby potatoes in a pan. I boil them for about eight minutes. I cut them in half and boil them. So I'm just going to drain them off really quickly mm -hmm. and give you a little look. So they're just oh. parboiled. Um, in this frying pan, I put an onion. I sliced it up nice and thinly. And um, I've been frying that on like a medium heat for about four or five minutes. Okay. Um, so low enough that it doesn't go brown, right? You want it to okay. kind of go translucent. You don't want to color the onion. Okay. And then I'm going to put a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay. And we leave that cook. While that's cooking away, we're just going to chop the potatoes up a little smaller because um, the smaller they are, the quicker that they'll cook inside in our frittata. So Lovely. we just cut them up and we pop them into the pan. And then we're going to turn that pan up a little bit, otherwise... We could be here at later later o'clock. Yeah. We could be here at later o'clock. Yeah. I'll never be asked back again. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to pop in the potatoes. I have about... 400 grams of potatoes here. Um, How many is this going to feed, Cleana, this recipe? Well, this would feed um, four adults for dinner if you wanted to have it, like, for dinner. Gotcha. But if you wanted to have it on a picnic, you know, it just depends. Like, yeah. you can Good you can make it stretch. You know? yeah, with, with. And it's so easy. Like, a lot of this stuff is covered cooking, you know? So we're going to pop all these potatoes in. Now, you can um, slice the potatoes really thinly as well, and you can just fry them off. You can skip the whole popping them in the, the boiling water and boiling them if you want, but I just feel it takes a lot longer. So yeah. we pop these into the pan, fry them off. Then also we are going to add... Rougher. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. And you know what? This this dish always reminds me of like holidays in Spain or Lanzarote or somewhere like that. You know, it's always... um, It's always on the breakfast buffet. Yes. Always. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we pop in. So we're going to add in our... um. I've got smoked lardons here, Cubin, West Cork, absolutely love them. So we'll fry them off. While they're frying off, we are going to get our eggs going. Now, I'm going to put eight eggs in this, but it's kind of dependent on my pan. Six to eight eggs is normally enough, depending yeah. on the size of your eggs and depending on the size of your pan. So we'll just break them in. Now, at this stage as well, I'm doing quite a basic recipe today. But you can add in whatever you like. So if you want to add in, I've got some peppers here that I'm adding in, or you can add in spring onions, you can add in mushrooms, you can add in, um, do you know the rose peppers from a jar? Yes. Yeah. They're really good in it as well, if okay. you don't want to use them. Um, so you can add in whatever kind of takes your fancy. Mm -hmm. So we pop these in. Whoops, I have eggshells. Flying everywhere. It is sort of that dish. Well, it's your kitchen. You can do whatever you want, girl. Um, I know. I'm the one. I'm the one who's cleaning it up. Yeah. <laughs> but it is sort of one of those dishes where whatever you've got in the veg press, in the fridge, yeah. or whatever, you can lash into it. Yeah. It is, and it's really good for leftovers. Mm. Do you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, black pudding. Black pudding is lovely in it. Yes. So we're going to put in some grated cheese. I've about 85 grams there. So we pop that in. I, I love. I put it into the bowl with the egg. I'm going to pop in some peppers as well. Yep. All right. And this is when you would put in your black pudding or your chorizo or whatever you fancy. Okay. And now can we you give add, these a stir. Can you add yeah, spices sorry. as well? Just just a personal taste? Yeah. Or... yeah, like I put chili in mine. Right. Um, I'm the person as well, though. Like if, if I was ever cooking an omelette, like I, I'd always put chili in my omelette as well. I love chili. But you could put in your basil. You know what's lovely in it? Um, a spoon of pesto. Okay. Really good in it. So you pop that in. You simply pour this over. So I'm going to that. Right? So it's easy. 
OK, so, and, and the egg will start cooking and the cheese will start melting immediately and it all bonds Yeah, so together. You, you have a choice now. Yeah, like, you can do that on the hob and you can cover it and you can leave it for maybe 8 to 10 minutes, depending. Yeah. But um, what I like to do is... I, I, I'm not great with the whole getting it out and flipping it over and putting it back yeah. in, it normally falls apart. Boom. So I have... Yeah, like, all over the floor. Um, I have a pan with an oven-proof handle... So I'm actually going to pop it into my oven. I've preheated to 200. That'll so do. So I'm going to pop it in the oven for about 8 to 10 minutes. Yeah. And I have one I made earlier. Oh, we, hey. wish, we wish we were here, Cleaner. Hey. I love that line. It never grows old. <laughs> no. <laughs> I agree. I grew up watching um, Anything Goes. You know Mary Fitzgerald? Yes. Yeah. Oh, uh, like life goals to be on the birthday roller. But anyway, um, <laughs> here is one I made earlier. Actually, this is quite hot, so I'll show you. I'll show you a little close up before I, I cut it. See, look at that. So that this is what it looks like. Just gorgeous. So you, you just pop the board on top of the pan, flip it over, so it's really easy. And then when you cut into it, like you can serve it. Like if you're going on your picnic, obviously you have your um, have it into your little dish, or yeah. else you can put it on a serving tray. And um, it just I just cut into it there. So you can see what we have. Now this one doesn't have any pepper in it. This is just a plain one, but it's really good hot and it's really good cold. Mm -hmm. Oh, that looks absolutely it's perfect lovely. and delicious. Absolutely gorgeous. Great for a picnic. As you just said, yeah. hot or cold, it's good to go. Yes, I know yeah, she's exactly. getting very posh with it. She's getting very, getting very posh. Yeah. Compared to the first week when I held when I held the noodle bowl up to the camera and the noodle <laughs> nearly fell out. <laughs> Change. Oh. Uh, listen, thanks for letting us into the house again. We hope to see you soon. Okay, thanks. Thanks for being here.